It's very noisy. That's okay, we can go off the sound. <laughs> I love it when your expectations of things have challenged. So when you say windmill, to me I think countryside, fields, flowers, trees, birds, that sort of thing. But here in Margate, on St Peter's footpath, right there. So this is a landmark year. In the first quarter, January to March 2023, the UK produced more electricity by wind than it did by gas. In the first three months of this year, a third of the country's electricity came from wind farms, or at least according to research from Imperial College London. And that really is a landmark event because, of course, by 2035, the UK is aiming for all of its electricity to come from sources that have net zero emissions. To celebrate that, we've come here, which is Draper's Windmill in Margate. There's been a mill at this site since the 17th century. This one was built 1845 and was one of a group of three. However, the majority of the UK's wind power comes from offshore wind farms. That's because installing new onshore wind turbines well, it has been effectively banned since 2015 in the UK. Under current planning rules, companies can only apply to build an onshore wind turbine on land specifically identified for development in the land use plans drawn up by local councils. The net effect of this has meant that building new wind farms has such resistance that not that many have been built because Rishi Shunak, our Prime Minister, agreed in December to relax these planning restrictions in order to speed up the development. The main reason they get stopped? People don't like looking at them. They're <laughs> not pretty. Of course, Draper's Mill is very pretty. The mill was primarily for grinding corn, as unusual in that it has three stones. It ran until about 1935 or so, and then was abandoned until 1965 when a property developer bought the land and planned to pull it down. The local schoolmaster in 1970 took exception to that and started a group to protect it, replacing the sails in 1971 for the first set and the second set in 1974. The scientists say that switching to renewable power is crucial to curb the impact of climate change which we're already feeling including in the UK which last year recorded its hottest year since records began. Of course solar and wind have seen significant growth in the UK. In the first quarter of 2023 42% of the UK's electricity came from renewable energy and only 33% came from fossil fuels like gas and coal. But only last Thursday the BBC revealed that billions of pounds worth of green energy projects had just stuck and held on on delay well, for a number of reasons including getting connection and opposition to wind turbines basically because they're not pretty. We don't like wind turbines but we do like windmills. So in 1916 they installed a gas engine here and when I say a gas engine I mean a town gas engine. The engine ran until the late 30s when it was removed. This is a replacement engine that's actually over a hundred years old and it's a gas engine as well. So the mill itself uh, from 1916 to 1913 was kind of a dual fuel mill. This engine like this was originally run on town gas which was coal that had been gasified and of course you can gasify wood and run it from a wood gasifier. Of course electricity only accounts for 18% of the UK's total power needs and there are lots of demands for energy which electricity is not really appropriate for such as heating our homes, manufacturing and transport. Here in the UK, of course, we use gas boilers mostly for our heating and there's a big incentive to move people to heat pumps which will use more electricity. And of course, with the coming electric vehicles that we're all expecting, we're going to need more electricity. So there's this dichotomy between a wind turbine and a windmill. One we love, the other we absolutely hate. It's a curious thing, but given that the needs that we've got, maybe if we put more effort into making wind farms, wind turbines prettier, then we'd actually put more of them up because efficiency isn't the only thing that people are concerned about. There is that not in my backyard unless it's pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much to Draper's Mill for allowing us to film there today. I've put a link in the bottom if you want to visit. They're having an open day and it is a beautiful building with a fascinating history. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.